Hello! On today, on today's a fragment of a Net, Net Slum video, we will be covering the installation of the Telepatch for Windows 10. Now, it supports the 64-bit version of Windows, so make sure you uh, aware which version of Windows you have. To start with, we will be going to the main Net Slum website, um, fragment.hackers.org, uh, and we will be going to the B the information is all housed on the BBS. Um, the 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 actual topic is under the dot hack fragment section and the dot hack technical section and it is the first pinned post at the top here i will provide a link directly to this post in the description below now it, had, it contains the instructions on how to install it and a frequently asked questions which some screenshots of of how it'll look when you have completed the patch if, uh, what we will be doing is focusing on the top part, which is the links and downloads section of it. We will be, uh, there are two main prerequisites for the Windows version, Windows 10 version. Image burn and .NET 5.0 runtime. So we will be covering those. Um, we'll start with them. Uh, image burn is a very important piece uh, of the puzzle. It also will help you provide you get a copy, if you get a copy of your fragment disk that you have physically. Um, the link you want to use is the is the Mirror 7 version because that's their version. It, it is it is less likely to have any ads or mis, mis, misdirects. So we will go ahead and click on it. It will spawn another window, and then you'll see in the bottom corner here it is downloading. And then we will go to Microsoft's website for the .NET 5.0 runtime. Uh, the one you want is with Windows highlighted. Uh, if you're using Windows, it should automatically highlight that for you. You want to go down here, and it is the second button here, the .NET Runtime. Go ahead and click on that, and then um, you will want the 64, x64 version, which is the first button here on the left-hand column. And it'll take you to this page. It'll say, wait 30 seconds. We're not going to be doing that. <laughs> and um, we'll go ahead and close that. As you can see, they're both downloading. And the only thing remaining we have to download is the Windows 10 uh, Telepatch. And as you will see that download it here at Mega. Now, this is a self-updating patch, so you shouldn't have to download this too often. There may be a chance that it, this gets updated in the future, but for the most part, once you download this, you shouldn't have to download it, download it again. All right, and now we are done with the web browser. Uh, I have the downloads already up, and you should have three files in your download section wherever you end up putting them in. Um, so we'll start with image burn. The installation process is pretty straightforward. Um, you have terms to accept, of course. Uh, you can leave these default. You can leave this default as well, unless you want to. And then it will ask you if you would, would like to uh, do auto updates for my... I'm going to say no, but you can go ahead and do so, and it will bring up a thank you page on the web. I'm going to go ahead and close that. And then the second second thing um, we're going to do is the uh, is the actual runtime. Now, the runtime installs really quickly on 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 a fully updated Windows 10 installation. So it should only take a second, and that's it. We're done. All right. And then I will actually um, you can extract the telepatch wherever you want, wherever it's convenient for you. For me, for the purpose of the demonstration, I'm just going to use the built-in Windows extractor and put it on the desktop. And there we have it. Now, you can use, uh, if you do not have, uh, you will need a, a copy of .hack fragment. We will not be providing this to you. You will, uh, the best way of doing it is, is to, when you take your purchased disk and use ImageBird to create, a, to create an image from the disk. Now, I can't, I'm using a virtual machine, so I cannot demonstrate this process, but it is very simple. You stick your disk in, you, t you say where you want it to go, and then you push the push the button. We recommend naming it fragment.iso because that's what the patch will be looking for. But you can name it whatever you like, and then always rename it later. Uh, and then it'll take about uh, about 10 minutes to copy the disk over to an image file. So I have already copied my disk, so I've already have I already have it here. So I'm going to go ahead and ins and bring it over here. And then to patch the patch your your game. Run the patcher now. If you get this message, 
Um, this is because it's a batch file, and if you've never run a batch file before on your machine, like this is a fresh machine, it will bring this up. Um, there is nothing, it is just a simple batch file, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong. You can, if you feel uncom uncomfortable, you can always scan the, you can always scan this with your, f your favorite antivirus thing. This is just Windows being Windows. You can just go ahead and click that, uh, more info, and say run anyway, and it'll never ask you again. And what the telepatch will do is run through about five, five steps. First step it'll do is it'll mount the image, um, that, uh, we provided, so that it can... It can it can get the information off of it. This is probably the longest part where there's no you won't get any feedback. That's normal. It is just it is just running in the background. And you can see it's creating a it's creating a, a file to store information. It'll now unmount the file. Alright, and it applies a first round of patches. Now as it's do as it's doing this, it will it will apply things such as the graphics patches and the the base patches that uh built from, and then it will move it into place. Now the speed of the patch just kind of depends on the, f the speed of your machine. This is a virtual machine, so it is going to be a bit slower than your normal than your normal installation, your normal hardware installation of Windows. So expect it to be a little bit faster on your machine. Okay, now it's downloading the the actual patches on the site, and it has applied them. And now what I do, and you don't have to do this. This is my optional thing. Is I'm stickler for keeping things as consistent as possible. This can be, you can leave it fragment underscore English, or you can rename it to whatever you like. I like to rename it fragment. Uh, it's totally up to you. I, you can just hit yes. So that's up to you. Um, probably just hit yes is the best way there, but you are free to change that if you want. It won't affect anything. And then it will add, it will give you a summary of what you're, what's, what's going on. What it's going to do now is it, it's going to take the files that it has created and put it back into a disk image. So we're going to hit OK. And this process is, again, really fast because we're dealing with just files on your computer. Uh, if we were burning this to a, a, a CD or a DVD, that would take significantly longer. But since it's a file, it's only going to take as long as uh, as your you, your computer can, can, can do data. All right, now it'll close automatically, and then the f the final round of patches will apply to the ISO it just created. This the, this is the this is called the V patcher, and it uh, it applies it, it um, applies it directly on the ISO, and in in a few seconds everything will be complete. And that's it. When you are done, you have the patcher. Now the version number will be reflected in the file name. So you can kind of keep track of what version you have. Right now we're on 1.0, and in the future it may be different. So don't worry if it's any different. Um, and if there's any if there's any questions, you can find us on the, the Discord, which will be linked below. There's a translation channel. That would be the best place to start. Uh, if you, you can also comment below, and we can try and help you out there as well. For other fragment-related items, we have a playlist which contains all of the all of our guides and all of the guides from from other places on, on YouTube, other content creators have created excellent guides, and I recommend that if you're starting out, you should, should check a look at that playlist. We will be updating that as guides are created. All right, uh, this, is, this is a fragment of a NetSlum tutorial. Uh, hope you have a good day.